Our aerial journey commences from the amazing Kano Beach, a quiet haven cocooned by rugged rocks, towering pines, and aromatic eucalyptus trees. The light sand contrasts against the vibrant waters that dance like emeralds, their unparalleled transparency a true marvel. Perched atop the cliff, the prestigious Grecian Park Hotel commands attention alongside other notable establishments. Kano's Beach rightfully claims its spot within the prestigious top tier of Cyprus's finest coastal gems. Amidst the summer rush that inundates even the most renowned spots, Kano's Beach stands as an oasis of serenity, vying for the title of the ultimate escape. Join us on a captivating journey as we soar above the complete expanse of Prataras coastline, unveiling the enchanting beaches that lie nestled along the twists and turns of its sprawling 15-kilometer shore. Let us ascend towards the very cape itself. Here, a realm of underwater caves awaits avid divers. On the cliff, you find a site, the enigmatic Cyclops Cave. Now you can see its entrance and exit, a passage that stretches for approximately 10 meters, offering an intriguing encounter. So, we fly on. This is the outskirts of Proteras, and it is actively built up with hotels and villas for rent for the summer. You can check where your hotel is located and what surrounds it, whether it is far from the beach and whether it has a sandy or rocky landscape. To know this, Simply find your hotel's name in the description and navigate easily by clicking on the time code. We're flying over to Leonardo Crystal Cove Hotel. In this particular stretch of Prateras, there isn't a sandy beach, but there is a bathing area. Therefore, while enjoying your stay in one of these villas, you may need to take a short car ride, or a leisurely 10, 15-minute walk to the beach. However, rest assured, this presents no inconvenience. Better, you'll find yourself residing away from the clamor and throngs of people. Apart from its beaches, Proteras also boasts natural beauty in the form of rugged cliffs, sea caves, and rocky formations along its coastline. Exploring these areas can be a great adventure for nature enthusiasts. We're approaching the initial beaches of Proteras. This is Mimosa Beach, attracting tourists from nearby hotels. As you can observe, the crowd here is not as dense as on the main beaches. During the summer months, Cyprus is characterized by the prevalent westerly winds, which frequently gain strength in the afternoon, causing waves to rise. Consequently, the water loses some of its pristine clarity. Yet, Proteras enjoys a unique advantage on the eastern side of the island, sheltering it from these robust winds. As a result, the sea remains tranquil here for the majority of the summer, a stark contrast to Aya Napa and especially Paphos, where waves are a constant presence. We have passed Green Bay and are now approaching Nicia Lombardi Beach. The popular hotel Cavo Maris is located here. It's noteworthy that this bay serves as a habitat for sea turtles, which can often be observed gracefully gliding through the depths of the water. Should you catch sight of what appears to be the Loch Ness Monster's head emerging from the sea, there's no cause for alarm. It's simply a large turtle. These turtles occasionally come up for air before returning to the depths. As evident from the scenery, the coastline of Prateras remains consistently rocky between its beaches. 
a notable advantage. The lack of fine sand contributes to the remarkable clarity of the water, with underwater visibility extending up to 20 meters. Behold a private residence before us. Envision the sheer wonder of residing by the shoreline, bearing witness to the ever-shifting weather patterns and the captivating transitions between day and night. Direct your attention to the waterfront promenade, gracefully extending alongside the sea for the duration of our flight. Strolling along the coast not only enhances physical well-being, but also nurtures a positive impact on one's emotional state. Proteras is known for its family-friendly atmosphere. Many of its beaches offer shallow waters and gentle slopes, making them ideal for children to swim and play. We will frequently encounter such beaches as we continue our flight. We're nearing the main attraction, the renowned Fig Tree Bay, distinguished with the coveted blue flag for its exceptional water quality and facilities. Fig Tree Bay stands as one of Proteras's most iconic destinations, deriving its name from the solitary fig tree adorning the shoreline. This beach boasts a picturesque panorama and is cherished by both visitors and locals alike. Adding an extra layer of protection from tumultuous waves is an island, which serves as a natural barrier against occasional eastward winds that sweep in from the sea. Big Tree Bay stands out as one of Cyprus's premier beaches, consistently ranking among the top five. Let's soar higher along the shoreline to gain a broader perspective of the hotels and their surroundings, including the secondary line hotels. The majority of Protara's hotels are clustered along the embrace of this bay, Let's delve into a closer look at these establishments. We are currently flying over the very heart of Protaras. This is a vibrant and diverse area. If you want to explore beyond your hotel, you can find many fun and exciting activities here. Visit the Oceanarium, where you can see over 1,000 kinds of sea creatures including sharks, stingrays, penguins and turtles. Watch the dancing fountains, which perform a dazzling light and music show every night. Hike up the hill to St. Elias Church, where you can admire amazing views of the city and the sea. Eat at one of the many restaurants that offer a range of culinary experiences from Mediterranean and Cypriot food to Asian and Mexican. Unwind in one of the bars or cocktail lounges where you can enjoy drinks, live music and DJs. Dance in one of the nightclubs such as Q Club where you can party until dawn to different genres of music. 
The centre of Prataras is a place where you will never get bored. Here, you can find everything you need for a memorable holiday. Assuming equal pricing, which among these hotels would you choose? Protaras has a magnificent pedestrian promenade that stretches along the sea for 15 kilometers. It is a pleasure to walk along it, especially in the early morning or in the evening when it is not too hot. Once beyond this cape, you may assume that there's nothing captivating beyond the center of Protaras, but that's far from the truth. Let's venture forth. Discover new secluded beaches with pristine crystalline waters, sprawling hotels, and idyllic resort villages awaiting our exploration. And indeed, all of this can be easily accessed on foot along this picturesque seaside pathway. Just another seven or eight kilometers and we'll find ourselves on the outskirts of Protaras. There, you'll encounter clandestine beaches nestled amidst the rugged rocks. And at our journey's end, the ghost town of Famagusta awaits. So, onwards we go. You might be surprised, but Cyprus is located much further south than Gibraltar and receives more warmth throughout the year than any other island in the Mediterranean Sea. This is why Cyprus boasts the longest bathing season in Europe. Even at the end of October and early November, the air temperature reaches 29, 30 degrees Celsius, while the water temperature stays around 24, 25 degrees. The footage you are seeing now was captured at the end of October. Nestled on the edge of the Pratara Sands, the Panera Beach Hotel is a haven for those seeking a serene beachside escape. Its location is complemented by a bustling neighborhood where a variety of restaurants and bars offer ample opportunities for exploration. Guests often speak fondly of the culinary experiences at Panera Beach Hotel, where the food is consistently praised for its quality. However, some visitors have noted that, while the rooms provide a comfortable retreat, additional space would enhance their stay. Moreover, the desire for more diverse lunch options, particularly in the salad selection, has been expressed by those who favor variety in their dining experiences. Overall, the Panera Beach Hotel, with its idyllic setting and attentive service, promises a memorable holiday experience, albeit with a few areas that could be refined for perfection. The Golden Coast Beach Hotel is a place of contrasts. Guests often speak fondly of its prime location and the beach that stretches invitingly before it. The hotel prides itself on its cleanliness and the warmth of its staff. A number of guests have noted that certain areas could benefit from renovations to bring them up to date. The air conditioning sometimes struggles against the Mediterranean heat and the soundproofing between rooms has room for improvement. It's suggested to opt for the land view rooms for a more tranquil experience, as the sea view rooms can echo with the vibrant nightlife from nearby establishments. While the quality of the food is generally praised, some guests feel that the flavors could be more enticing and the selection more varied. In summary, while the hotel has areas to improve upon, as voiced by many guests, 
Its strengths in location, cleanliness, and entertainment offer a compelling reason to stay. We see a large marina being constructed near the Golden Beach Hotel. Apparently, there will be either a new hotel or residential building here. However, the construction does not in any way interfere with relaxing on the nearby beaches. The coastline is very winding, and around every turn, we invariably find small cozy beaches, surrounded by vacation villas. Please note that the promenade has turned into a dirt path, but you can still continue your walks in this part of Protaras and further on to the UN buffer zone, which we will explore at the end of this video. Located on the edge of Protaras, Crystal Springs Beach Hotel is a serene haven offering stunning vistas. The hotel's private sandy beach, set amidst lush tropical gardens, is a cherished gem. The hotel's recent upgrades have not gone unnoticed. The addition of exclusive suites, superior rooms and a spa has elevated the guest experience. However, perfection is elusive and some guests felt that the food served in the main restaurant could be warmer. Despite this, the variety of culinary options and the availability of branded beverages have been a hit among visitors. Evenings at Crystal Springs are vibrant with entertainment options catering to all ages. In short, we recommend you to consider it for your vacation in Cyprus. We especially like the secluded location, away from the noise of evening protaras. On the same charming bay, the Atlantica Sea Breeze Hotel is nestled. The rooms at Atlantica Sea Breeze are a haven of comfort, equipped with thoughtful amenities that many guests have appreciated. For those looking to indulge in a worry-free vacation, the hotel's all-inclusive packages have been a hit. However, it's important to acknowledge that while many have savoured the culinary offerings, some guests felt the food quality could be improved. The staff at Atlantica Sea Breeze generally receives high marks for their friendliness, although a handful of guests have encountered service hiccups. Lastly, the choice of beaches has been a unique point of discussion. In summary, Atlantica Sea Breeze aims to provide a delightful stay, balancing the beauty of its location with attentive service and guest comforts. Soon more hotels will appear on the horizon, but for now, as we fly over relatively empty shores, let us tell you something interesting about Cyprus. So, for example, did you know that around 12,000 years ago, hippos and elephants lived in Cyprus? It is believed that they crossed to the island from Africa about six million years ago, when the ancient straits between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean disappeared and the sea began to dry up. At this time, many islands were connected to the continent. Cyprus was also connected to Asia and Africa. Therefore, the animals calmly passed to the island along the bottom of the sea. Such shallowness lasted about one million years until the Strait of Gibraltar appeared and the sea filled up again, leaving African animals on the islands. Then the climate of Cyprus changed to a more arid one, and the size of these large animals decreased due to inadequate nutrition. The first humans appeared in Cyprus approximately 13,000 years ago. It is believed that they arrived from the Near East on papyrus boats. You can see such a boat at the Aia Napa Museum. These early settlers established villages away from the coast, engaging in agriculture, animal husbandry, and hunting. They soon eradicated all remaining elephants and hippos on the island, the charred remains of which were found in caves in southern Cyprus. Oh, the 
water glistens in the sunlight, how I long to plunge into the sea. Malama Beach Holiday Village is a haven for families, offering a range of activities that cater to both young and old. Guests often praise the resort's family-friendly atmosphere, highlighting the well-equipped kids club and various children's activities as a major plus. The staff's welcoming nature and the cleanliness of the rooms also receive high marks from visitors. When it comes to dining, opinions are mixed. Vegetarians might find the buffet options somewhat limited, and those looking for a diverse breakfast spread, including fruits and health-conscious choices like smoothie bowls or porridges, may be left wanting more. In the evenings, the hotel's animation team springs into action, providing entertainment that is well-suited for families. This suggests that guests can look forward to shows that appeal to both adults and children. We are nearing the conclusion of our journey through Protaras. The grand hotels are now behind us, and as we proceed, we will discover a series of secluded beaches, some boasting amenities and others remaining untamed. Our voyage culminates with a descent towards the hauntingly deserted town of Famagusta. To live in a tent by the seaside, what could be more romantic? But what happened to those first settlers of the island? They survived on Cyprus until 6200 BC and then became extinct. Apparently the cause was global cooling and drought, which incidentally also turned the once green Sahara into a desert. For a whole millennium after that, the island remained uninhabited until the climate became humid again around 4,500 years BC and new settlers arrived from the mainland. However, luck was not on their side either, as a powerful earthquake destroyed all their settlements on Cyprus after 700 years. Nevertheless, some people survived, preserved their traditions, and gradually began to resettle the island. Then, around 2500 years BC, the Bronze Age began, when the island's culture became closely intertwined with the civilization of Crete. Another thousand years later, the first Greek colonists arrived on the island. But that's another story. Let's return, however, to our beaches and hotels.
Subscribe now to our channel for an immersive experience. Join us as we take you on a visual journey through the stunning resorts of Cyprus. Explore every corner of the 200 kilometers picturesque coastline, all beautifully captured from a bird's eye perspective. Discover your ideal hotel or beach effortlessly. Famagusta, once the jewel of Cyprus, boasted pristine beaches and a bustling tourist scene. Yet, in 1974, the city's destiny shifted profoundly amidst the Greek Cypriot and Turkish Cypriot conflict, followed by Turkish military action. The United Nations intervened, creating a buffer zone to foster peace and avert further strife. This led to the displacement of residents sealing off the town and rendering it a ghost town. Time stood still in Famagusta, with its hotels, apartments and shops preserved as they were. The Varosha district, caught within this buffer zone, remained out of reach for years. Recently, however, the northern Cypriot authorities have permitted tourist access, unveiling a site that is both fascinating and poignant. In conclusion, let's soar on a hopeful note. We envision a future where the island's communities coexist peacefully, revitalizing the grandeur of Famagusta.